In this video, we're going to get introduced to jQuery. So what is jQuery? Let's go to the jQuery website and find out. It's jQuery.com. If we scroll down, we'll find a definition of jQuery here. So it's saying jQuery is a fast, small, and feature-rich JavaScript library. So first of all, it is a JavaScript library, which means that it combines a big list of functions and methods that are um, built using JavaScript code. All right. And then it carries on um, telling the capabilities of uh, jQuery, including the manipulation of HTML elements and also doing some event handling, animations, and so on. So jQuery is a JavaScript library uh, combining uh, functions and methods which make uh, our JavaScript experience easier and our code more user friendly. Usually, you will find these functions replacing multiple lines of JavaScript's code by a single line. So they will make our life uh, easier, basically. All right. So if we want to use jQuery, we need to um, download a uh, jQuery file, which includes all these functions. And if we go to the um, link download jQuery, we've got a few choices here. So we've got uh, jQuery 1.x. Um, jQuery 2.x we're going to go for the first one and we only need the un the uh, compressed version because we're going for a, a live uh, website the uncompressed version uh, we can use it as well but it's usually used for development and debugging purposes okay so if we click on that link we're going to get uh, a, a file just like this one uh, and then we will need to refer to that file in our uh, JavaScript code as we have done earlier in external JavaScript. So now we're going to um, create a new folder in our projects folder. We're going to call it jQuery. Okay. And, and then we're going to open this folder using brackets. And we're going to create a new file. And we're going to call it one. Um, embedding jQuery and uh, syntax because we're going to be looking at the syntax as well all right so uh, I just copied paste the uh, structure from our recent file so you're just going to change the title to embedding jQuery and syntax okay And let's change the text in the paragraph to jQuery. Okay. So now uh, we want to uh, use the uh, jQuery file. And we want to refer to it um, using external JavaScript. So all we need to do is uh, to copy the, uh, the file. We're going to create another folder first we're going to call it js where we put all our javascript uh, files and we're just, just going to copy the uh, jquery file inside this file okay so in order to embed uh, jquery uh, using the uh, jquery file that we downloaded uh, we will uh, have a uh, script uh, inside the head element okay using the script uh, tag and we're going to give it a source attribute if you remember how we did uh, the uh, the external JavaScript, it's exactly that. And we uh, are referring to this file uh, using the location. So it's js forward slash uh, the name of the file. Okay. So uh, now we've got our HTML file linked to the jQuery uh, JavaScript file. Okay. So now we can use any function in the jQuery library. So if we go to our script here, we can use any jQuery function. And let's start with one, one first example. Okay. So the uh, syntax is as following. So first of all, we need a dollar sign, which means select. Okay. And then we're going to need a uh, selector. Okay. So basically the uh, selector uh, is similar to uh, the... Uh, JavaScript get element uh, by something. 
So we can use uh, an ID, we can use a class and so on. Okay. So if we try something like this, so it's always a string and we need to put the contents inside the string. So if we write P for paragraph, so we're selecting all the paragraphs in our document. Okay. And then we uh, need a dot and then we, an action. So the action that we use here is going to be based on the uh, methods of the uh, jQuery library. So for example, if you want to hide all the paragraph in our documents, we're just going to uh, use the function or the method hide. Okay. Just like that. Okay. One good practice is to uh, wrap the um, jQuery uh, code inside another uh, code which is uh, select the uh, document and we've got a dot and then ready which means that we only run the jQuery code once the uh, document uh, or the web page has uh, fully loaded okay and then inside uh, the uh, ready function we need to uh, put our function we want to execute Okay, so we close the curly brackets and close the parenthesis and then we can put the code there. Okay, so this is good practice. Um, so if we refresh the page, we can see that our paragraph disappeared. All right. There is another uh, easy uh, way of using the documents uh, dots ready. There's a source version for that is by, just by doing a uh, dollar followed by the, uh, the function and this will work as well. Okay, so you can see that the, that the uh, paragraph has been uh, hidden. Okay, so that's how jQuery works. So first of all, we need to um, use the jQuery library. So we need to uh, refer to it uh, in the head element. And, uh, and then uh, a good practice uh, before using the JavaScript uh, methods is to wrap the code inside this expression. Uh, there is another way of... Um, referring to the uh, jQuery uh, library, it's by using a CDN. So we can use, for example, uh, Google CDN or Microsoft CDN. So let's uh, type Google CDN library or whatever. And we can go to uh, Google hosted libraries. And if you go to jQuery, we'll find a link here so first one, so for 1.x, so we can just copy the link, okay, in our head uh, section. So let's just comment the first one. So basically, if we do that, So you can see that our function is working. And basically, there are advantages of using a link rather than hosting the file ourselves. So this is going to be uh, mainly uh, faster loading uh, time because users would have already downloaded uh, jQuery from um, the uh, Google uh, CDN uh, when they have visited other uh, websites. And also, uh, CDNs um, usually they uh, will make sure that the uh, download uh, is done using the closest server to the uh, to the user, so this uh, all this will lead to uh, faster uh, loading uh, times. All right.